also show you how you can download Sentinel-2 data from Amazon, calculate an ND value, and then output that data set using FME. You can use the new data set selector to choose Sentinel-2 service on AWS. From here, we can use the parameters option to choose the bands that we want. In this case, we're going to take band 4 and band 8. The zone that we need, so we're going to look at an area over Cornwall, so we're going to take UTM zone 30, latitude band of U, or an MGI square. You can choose these from the little selector boxes to the right hand side of the menu. And this will give you a dialog that shows you all of the available zones. If you're unsure what zone your data falls in, you can use the MGRS calculator transformer to turn a lat long position into an MGRS grid square. Um, in this case, we're going to choose the latest image. You could find all images, a date range, or just a selected date. We're going to look for a cow cover of at least or below 5% and a minimum percentage data cover of at least 90%. This will ensure we end up with a low cloud cover but full data scene. Selecting OK and then OK again. We'll load those bands onto the canvas for us. We're going to add the NDVI calculator, which is a custom transformer. And we know band 4 is going to go to the red band. Band 8, we're going to take to the near infrared band. And in the calculator, we're going to choose that we want an NDVI tape. And we're going to colorize the output just using a blue, yellow, and green palette. Um, if you wanted the actual NDVI values out, just choose no colorization. But just as we're going to have a look at the data in this case, we're going to choose to visualize it. Um, I'm just going to write this to the inspector for visualization purposes, but you could write this to an Urgis Imagine IMG file or to a GeoTIFF if you prefer. I'm just going to run that data set. And FME will go through, download those bands live from the Amazon Web Services, carry out the NDVI calculation and it's going to push the output through to the inspector for me when it's completed downloading. Here you can see the resulting NDVI image over the backdrop map. You can also start to see the improved resolution over things like Landsat with the Sentinel data and just in terms of the quality of the actual data set. Um, from here we could take this data intersect that with things like master map and actually start to calculate the NDVI values by field.